Howdy y'all, my name is Price and I'm playing some more Astroneer and we are picking up a little bit after where we left off. Uh, y'all will remember that we went down into the caves and we were digging up a whole bunch of rare resources and then uh, right towards the end of that I said, hey, let's plan on going to another planet uh, and so that's what we're going to do today and we last, ep uh, last stream afterwards, we got all the stuff together so that we can go to another planet. So we got two full medium storages of resin, we have one medium storage that is half aluminum half copper we have another medium storage that is all compound and we have two lithium on the back of the habitat we have a full tank of gas with a couple of extras on the side and then if you check our backpack you'll see we also have three more lithium one aluminum one copper two compound uh, we have our oxygen tank up here uh, and our battery here so pretty solid um, so I figure let's get our butts to space yeah Boom! All right, so here we go. It's time for liftoff. Oh, SpaceX, eat your heart out. Yeah, look at all that stuff. Isn't that cool? That's super cool. Your college courses were canceled today, Zach. Well, cool. You got a free day. You got a free day. All right. So we're currently floating around the Tundra planet still. Uh, I'm thinking. There's an arid planet and there's an irradiated planet. Either of those we have not been to. So right here we have, I think that's the irradiated planet. And then we have the arid planet. <clears throat> the arid planet's obviously a bigger one. Um, I think that if I want to get there, we're going to get there slowly. Um, it does always take a little bit of time to float through space. I could jump to this planet. I'm just trying to pay attention to the distances there. What do people in chat think? Arid or irradiated? Let's hear. Let's hear. Oh, looks like Arid's coming into place first, so it might be the one. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think we're going to do Arid. I see people saying both. I've got a little bit of time while it's here, so I can see it. Rat slimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. A lot of people said arid, and then a bunch of other people said irradiated, but it was about to move out of out of uh, range, so I was like, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. New planet, red planet. It's basically Mars. We've got to go to Mars. Um, let's see. Where would we like to land? There's like a yellow bit over here. This one doesn't seem to have as clearly distinct of biomes. Um, it's kind of like this yellowy area. It's very, like, it's got these, like, ridges almost. I wonder if those are, like, mountain uh, edges. I think, let's check, let's check this spot over here. It's got a little bit of this yellow, a little bit of everything. I always like to try and see all the stuff. All right, Dunk. See you later, buddy. Okay. Ooh, man, we are on Tatooine. Okay. Oh, and there is some, that looks like lithium right there. This is a nice... There's some more titanium maybe right there. So this is definitely an area with some resources, so that's good. And it's a nice open spot. I think this might be a perfect place to start a base. So let's do it. Going to grow any potatoes? We might. Who knows? Let us uh, – let's get off the ship. Let uh, Oh, that hurt. Uh, let's go set this up somewhere. Is that a storm coming already? I just want to get... Yeah, look at all this stuff on the surface. I think that's malachite. Tons of resources, y'all. Okay, yeah, this we're going to live in the desert. Awesome. So, let's go ahead and let's... Ooh! Got to be careful of those. Those things can mess you up. Okay, so let's make this base maybe look a little bit different from our last ones. I've been making them all in this kind of like grid-type um, fashion. Part of me thinks that maybe I should make them in more, uh, like, in just a different fashion for this one. So maybe we'll try and make a different shape. Um, okay, let's bring over the resin to start with. So, what if... Alright, I'm just getting terrified by the noises, so I'm going to sit in here while I plan. Um, what if we did, like, almost like a, a star shape, or like a six-pointed six shape? Um... Do, do, do. Later, Claims Ass. Thanks for being here. 
Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, maybe... So I'll go one north and one south, and then we'll go, you know, one in each direction like this. I think that'd be kind of cool. And then from each of those six, we go out from there even further. And so then what I'll maybe do is I'll do like on the interior, those will be all of the uh, machines. And then on the exterior, we can have, no wait, cause it's gotta be the other way around cause of the way that they link. It's interesting. Hmm, let's, let's mess with it because I, I'm, there are some questions that I have about uh, how these things connect, because it used to be that you couldn't even connect them um, if you didn't have the appropriate... Uh, it, it, you couldn't have, like, a machine in the middle and then connect another machine to it. So, like, if I turned this into a machine spot, um, at least in the early builds, then you wouldn't be able to continue to connect off of it. But I feel like I've seen people do that um, on more recent patches, but I'm not sure. Um, but let me get back in here just so I can do, do, do. I do want to, let's, let's set out the, the proper shape. Um, no, 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 cancel that. Is that the, okay, so that is the tightest grouping you can get right there. So if I go like this, okay. Then, okay, so that's, I'm not gonna be able to do it because that, uh, I can't fit one in there. So then what if we do it like this? So we'll have one out this way and three out this way. That's kind of cool. It's kind of a neat shape. It's like a claw. It's like a, like a talon, like a bird's talon. Is this a desert planet? Yes, it is, sort of. Uh, it is an arid planet. I think if you go further along there, it's mostly desert, and then there's like kind of like rocky canyony stuff. But we got great stuff here already. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do then is we'll have this be maybe where the machines are, and then out here this can be like I can make like a strip of power generating things, and then also out from there make more machines. So if we do it like this. Give me. Okay, then that can be like one power generator. And I can do another one this way, and that can be another power generator. And then out from there, we can make more stuff. I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, so one last, one last spot. Okay, and then I need to start actually building things because I'm gonna use up all of my uh, resin before I know it. Okay, let's grab, now that we have a whole bunch of spots that I can put this stuff on. Let's grab all this, put it out. Oh, nope, come on, compound. Sit down, please. Thank you. And one more for the resin. So which machines do we want to build first? I definitely need a printer. I definitely need a um, trade platform. I definitely need, what else do I need? Let's put away some of this stuff as well. Okay, cool. So let's grab as much resin as we can. It's getting weird! The claw! Indeed, the claw! No, oh, you go back here. Dip into the resin? No, okay, so that one is empty. We've already used half of our resin uh, just to get to here. So, let us drop this. Do, 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 do. So, I think like this. Okay, one here, one here. Okay, so we got these three machines that we can build right away. So let us do, what do we got? We got fuel condenser, medium printer. We've got, definitely want a vehicle bay at some point. Trade platform is important. Research station is somewhat important, but less important. Um, so a smelter could be good, a vehicle bay could be good to get right off the bat. Um, Trying to think. Vehicle bay, because we have all these resources here. I think a vehicle bay might be a smart thing for us to get sooner rather than later. Smelter is also useful. And then again, I like to have my vehicle bays on different sides. So I almost think like smelter here, um, trade platform here, medium printer there. And then we do the vehicle bay like out this way. Oh no. 
Storm. Okay, let's uh, let's go straight if we can. Where's it at? I can't even see this storm. Oh, there it is! It's coming our way. Ugh, let's run. Uh, let's run. Oh wait, no, no, this way. It's in. It's in here. It's ready to go. Okay, and then while we wait for that to pass, let's just grab some compound off of there. Drop that over here. Let's go ahead and make that thing. Oh my goodness. And now we wait while that happens. How are y'all doing in there? Um, food chat exists because you're hungry all the time. Y'all having, having food times? It's okay. I get it. I can go for a breakfast burrito right now, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Jeebus, how far can you grab stuff? I know, you have pretty distant telekinetic powers. Uh, it's kind of awesome, in my opinion. So, I'm just trying to look at the way that our base is kind of lined up. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is from these guys, I will build out further this way for more power type stuff. Uh, and then so we can go like power here, power there, power here, power there. And we'll have seven slots. That's probably enough for as much power and stuff as we need. Okay. You done? Storm? I'd really love it if this desert storm would just leave. Hey, it's like it was listening, sort of. You're a wizard, Harry. I know, dear reader. I'm the bee's knees. Okay, so, now that we've done that, uh, I need to start generating some energy. What I think I could do is I might just use some of this compound and make some energy cells. Hey, Countless Dragons, am I going to stream Arc today? Probably no Arc today because I only have these two hours and I need to do um, some more of Astroneer because um, I, I need more episodes of it. But um, I will do Arc tomorrow uh, at this time. So do come on by for that, and uh, yeah, we'll be here, we'll be doing it. Okay, so aluminum, this, okay, and then copper, this, and then we want this one to be a vehicle bay, which I think is also aluminum, if I'm not mistaken. It is aluminum, yep. And then I'm going to need to get some more aluminum, so we'll have to use our trade platform for that uh, in order to uh, get... Um, to actually build the rover. But first thing I want to do is I want to print myself something that's going to generate some power. And so there are a couple of ways that I can do that. I could put down my solar panel and see if it gets any energy. No, not right now because of the time of day that it is. I could use one copper. Let's make a little windmill and let's see if it'll get any power from that. Do do do. -do. Small generator, small battery power cells. Do do do. -do. Where is Small wind turbine. Oh, it's aluminum. Okay. So let's make a small wind turbine, and we'll see if that uh, helps. And if it doesn't, then there are other things that we can do. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So let's grab some compound, and here's what I'm going to do. Let us generate. I can use my small battery. That's one thing. And then I can also, if, yeah, because that's not going to be enough, I can make some power cells. So power cells are things that you can usually use if you're, like, in an emergency and you need power when you're, like, stuck down in a cave. Um, and so power cells, it's just its just energy, you know? Come on. There we go. I'll just put them back because I want my solar panel back. Okay. Now that we have that, uh, I can make a big solar panel. So let's do... Doo -doo -doo -doo. So if I make at least one big solar panel and one big uh, wind turbine, that might work well for us. And you can see that this solar panel is pointed at the sun currently. So let's put it here. Okay. And then let's grab our big one. Drop it here. So that should help us with energy. Uh, and let's let all that go just fine. And let's make another one. While we can. While this guy slowly generates energy. Alright. Uh, do it again. Boom. Okay. Now let's grab you. And I'm going to put you right now on there because it still works that way. And we'll drop this guy over here. So now we've got two solar panels soaking up the energy. So now we're going to making a good amount of energy. So let's make a battery. Um, battery. Boom. Okay. 
And I could even make a second battery if I wanted to, because we have so much lithium. Um, which would not be a bad idea. But we also might need to use that lithium. How much lithium do I have? I have one, two, three, and is that it? Could have sworn I brought more. But that's how this works. I mean, you go to another planet. Oh, jeez! That thing was coming right for me. Did you see that? That was on a mission. Oh, all kinds of little spiky balls. Those things are dangerous. Those ones are just floating in the sky, like little demons. This is a nightmare. It's an evil nightmare. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the lithium, like I said, I could either use it or trade it. Uh, considering I do still need to make a uh, vehicle over here, and we want to make a large rover, and we want to make a drill head, I'm going to need a lot of aluminum. I'm going to need a lot of... Um, what else? Oh, jeez! I might need to build... Oh! Oh! oh. <gasps> I might need to build a wall around my base. Like, I might literally need to build just a big ridge around my base to protect me from these things. Because look at that. They're just coming right for me. One of these is going to hit me at some point. Wow. Um, that's scary. Okay, trade platform. I need to use you. Let's get some... Um, oh, laterite. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh, gosh. Give me the lithium. Okay. It's, oh, it, you guys, it's everywhere. It is a nightmare. Okay, give me some laterite. Okay, we're, set, we're setting off for some laterite. Leave me alone! Oh! Oh, it's a nightmare. Oh, and there's plenty of lithium around the corner, though, now that I remember about it. Spike army assemble. Look at it! <laughs> there's so many of them. <laughs> Why are there so many? I like that, like, obviously this is just an issue of spawning, but it's like you can see the ones that are in the distance, so it's like it's not making them invisible once they reach outside of range. It's like it's like almost storing the entities. That's a nightmare. That literally, it looks like, that's like I'm, I'm seeing an enemy invading army awaiting on the hill, just waiting for me to be in a dangerous compromising position. Um, I'm going to have to build a big old wall to protect my base. That's going to be a thing. It's gonna be a thing. Okay, cool. Got some ladder right back. Let's um, let's stay in here for right now. Do do do. Okay, grab you. And the last, nope, the last one. Okay, cool. Let's get that going. Okay, so now we're we're smelting four more aluminum, so that'll be good. Oh my goodness. Uh, no, sorry, it's not laterite, it's, uh, malachite right next to my base, not laterite. Um, we have malachite, we have, I think this is titanium, fairly certain that's lithium, and that's about it. So, if we need copper, I can get plenty of copper, but I didn't have laterite. So if I said I had laterite near my base earlier, I was mistaken. Uh, I meant to say we had malachite. Um, okay. But I don't want to print that just yet, because I'd like to wait for these things to stop. I think they're basically stopped. Okay. Now, while we can, let's just really quickly... Oh, no. Here they come. Here they come. Stop it. Stop it. Go right over. Oh, no. And I hear a windstorm coming as well. Oh, no. Oh, that one was close. Okay. So... Oh, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. We're building up a little wall, y'all. <laughs> it's basically like a ramp that just will send them right over my base. <laughs> uh, okay, and now here comes the storm. But the wall will also protect me from a lot of the storm as well. So that's kind of nice. Countless dragons, any advice? Ooh, okay, hold on. Let me uh, do a little bit more of this. I'm gonna be low on power here soon, I think. Okay, let's get inside. Okay, uh, there we go. Uh, any advice for teacher training? Um, I know your difference, uh, or your concentration might be different than mine, but you'd love any advice. Um, I think it depends on the age group that you're teaching. But uh, ultimately, um, I think the importance, 
it's... Let me try to think. How, how do I teach? What is it that works well for me teaching? I make lots of jokes. I try and be very personable and relatable and kind of... Um, I... Yeah, I try and be funny and self-deprecating in a way because I think that if you get people to laugh, they're more likely to listen to you. Um, so I always try and make little jokes and make little things that kind of keep people engaged. And then, like, my... The thing I always say is you always want to um, trick someone into learning. You always want to accidentally make them learn something. Because um, people, if you say, like, oh, I'm just going to teach you something, uh, a lot of times people, they get bored. They tune out. And so I find that if you instead try and make it something fun um, and, you know, try and just make it, you know, something enjoyable and find a way of, of making it clever and interesting, then I think people are far more likely to listen to you um, and actually retain that knowledge. Um, Again, I don't know. You're trying to go into special ed. Oh, okay, so special ed. That's a yeah. That's gonna be very different, because um, obviously there are different things that you're gonna have to um, be worried about in terms of what you need to know and how you need to properly address your the needs of that population. Um, oh, this is gonna mess with my ability to get solar energy. I might need to like put like a window in here. Let's punch a hole in that. Punch a hole in it. Sun window. Yeah. And then every now and then one of those spike balls is just going to like <laughs> right through there. Like it's trying to. Look, you can see it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, uh, get comfortable with what you're, you're teaching people. And um, just, you know, let your students guide your teaching a little bit. Like, you know, like pay attention to where they're at. Don't go too far ahead. Don't get too far behind. Just try and pay attention to what your students' needs are. But, you know, I... I uh, I taught at college, so it's very, uh, it's very different. Um, okay. Let us think. Let us think. We do want to print this rover. I'm going to need to make a seat. I'm going to need to make a drill bit head. So let's make a seat. Uh, open one seat. Now let's print that. Okay, come on. It'd be cool if you could build up in this game, because what I would love to do is build some of these things up on top of this, and then have that be, like, the power generator. I think that'd be super cool. Okay. Let's grab you. Oh, and that guy, he just drained our entire battery. This this thing did. Um, so, well, that's no good. What else have I got with me? I could once again make some more power cells, but I would like some more consistent power generation. I haven't seen any coal on the planet yet. Otherwise, I would make a uh, generator. But um, do you have power, this thing? You don't need power. All right, I might gather a bunch of this malachite, smelt it, and trade that off for some more compound. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Upper platforms would be nice. Yeah. Glad you agree. And once we have our drill bit and everything, we'll be able to... Ooh. Um, we'll be able to mine a lot of those resources, so that'll be a lot of value that we can add in. Uh, okay. And then we can get enough batteries that it's just not going to matter. Okay, we have three malachite. I guess that'll do. I, mean, I think I need it at least, regardless. Um, all right, do I have any more lithium? I have one lithium left that I could use for trading. I have uh, one compound left. We're starting to get pretty low on resources. I do need power to be coming in a little bit more. And I think a lot of that is battery stuff. If I had more batteries, then we would be more set because we just have like larger amount to store during the day because it seems like we're not getting a lot of wind and we're not getting that much solar because I think we spend a lot of time uh, facing away from the sun. Um, okay. Oh, dear. Oh, dear! My goodness. My goodness. All right. Uh, how about a small generator? It's copper. Okay, I can do that. Let's make a small generator. Here we can use organic, so I just have to go out and find plants. 
there's not a ton of plants on this planet because obviously it is a uh, an arid planet. But I think these might count. No, they don't. Oh, jeez. Well. Oh. Hello. I see you guys. And I know that you guys always have power around you. Give me all the power. And the organic. I got a little bit of both. That's good. Okay. Anything else? Now we're basically just hunting for resources if we can find any. Whoa, that was close. All right, bunch of plants. This will do. A lot of really good rare resources that we're seeing all around now, y'all. Which that's really great for us. Okay, and several research nodes all around over here. We don't even have a research station yet, so it's not a huge deal for us. Come on, give me your goods. All right, here we go. Oh, there's some some plant life. Yeah, there we go. That'll give us some organic. Okay. Oof. Grab all that. Do, 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 do. Grab all them plants. Turn them all into organic. And then we can use that to get at least a little bit of power. And I see that the sun is starting to come up. So that'll give us something too. All right. Let's get a move on. Oh, okay. Just more of that. Good thing research module is only compound, one of the cheapest resources. Yeah, for sure. And we'll, we'll get it eventually. Right now my concern is less about having the research module and more about having the um, power deficit that's gonna come along with using that. Oh, we'll be fine. Oh! Don't suffocate, buddy. Come on, we're close. You're right here. There we go, whew. Okay, yeah, see, here, here's my thing I was concerned about. This is causing a shadow that is actually limiting my ability to get solar power from it. Um, I might... What if I built straight out from here and then built the wall kind of, like, in front of the solar power so the solar panel is on the other side of it? That might help. But yeah, I feel like power should be starting soon. Come on, sun. I see you there. Watch, this one's going to open first, yeah. Because the angle of the sun actually matters in this game, which I appreciate. I think that's actually a pretty cool effect. And then this one will work. Um, so let's let's just take this down a little bit. This is where the sun comes from. It's good to know. There you go. Okay. Now, uh, we're waiting for this thing to power up. We have a whole bunch of organic as well, so I can jumpstart some of this. So let's do that. Oh, and I have... Uh, one of these. So that'll power us up as well. So, now what I need is I would like to make a crane, if I could, which is copper. I just need one more copper. Cool. All right, let's go. Um, let's get this. Um, it's a bunch of, oh, no, another storm. Well, let's get all this malachite while we can. Some of it, at least. Okay. Next one's gonna fall on the ground. Yep. Okay, let's go. Oh. Let's get inside. Okay, 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 okay. I'm here. All right, we're good. Now. Oh, I can't access my inventory while I'm here. All right, hold on. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, I just died. I did not die. How did I not die? Something hit me. Hide. Whew. Okay. So, let's just move some of this around real quick. Oh my gosh. This is a nightmare. Let's print the crane. And then let's smelt the stuff. And let's hide forever. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to build this base. I'm going to have to build like a t an entire shell over the base itself. And then like send out resin nodes all the way around that thing. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Um... Jeez. Uh, and then I'm going to need even more malachite because I'm going to need to build a drill head, which is also copper. But we just got that, so we'll do that. Okay. Well. 
All right, and that'll give me enough to where I can just kind of like scoot over here and mine this up. I can use that titanium to send off for other resources so I can build a second buggy to attach to the back. So that can be like my storage and power buggy. And then I think we'll be in a good um, position. So let's grab that. Let's put that just here for now is fine. And while we can, do we have, no, we don't have any more lithium. We don't have two lithium, so I can't build a second battery. That's fine. Okay, man. Woo. This is a this is a dangerous planet, y'all. All right, let's grab that there. Let's grab the drill attachment. Nope. Drill attachment. Cool. And let's just move it right over to here. Totally fine. Titania. Nice. And hopefully it'll do the thing where it will actually stand still and not just start rolling away. Yeah, we're sliding away. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This titanium, this will be good. This will be good for us. Oh, man. Oh, we're rolling. Why do we slide so much? Why can't I have an e-brake? Oh, jeez. Oh, man, Rick. Oh, I could really use an emergency brake. Oh. oh, boy. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right, there we go. That's good. That's good stuff. Okay. Any more? I just want to make sure to just triple check around. I think we're good. Okay, so let's clear out of that. We got three titanium. Not bad. And let us clean up our mess. There we go. That'll be a good angle. Good enough, at least, so I don't fall into a pit. Oh, goodness. This little piece floating in space. Out of here, space. Nope. Okay. Okay. Fill in the hole. I just, uh, you know me. I'm, what's going to happen is if I leave this hole, I'm going to log in at some point, and I'm going to be like, oh, let's go looking for stuff, and then I'm going to fall right in the hole. You know what's going to happen. Because you know me. All right. It's not letting me fill in this last little bit, and that concerns me. There's an issue here. I know I have no power, but that shouldn't be the issue. That's weird. There's something wrong with that, like, the generation there. Okay. Let us go get that lithium as well. Might as well. It's right there. Sure. Let's just drive backwards. Why not? That makes sense. And this way we can get more batteries with this lithium. So we use the titanium for trading, and we'll use the lithium for the purposes of lithium. All right. Okay, we're drifting back that way, so I need to grab from this side first. Oh my goodness. Why does it do this? <laughs> uh, it's a little buggy. Well done. Well done, Merit. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh dear. Okay. Um, run, buddy. Get you a little bit closer. So we can get that last little bit. Oh! Jeez. Those things are terrifying. No, not in the front. No, not in the front. No, not in the front! It keeps on looking at that, and when I hit tab, then it switches over. Eh! There we go. Just want the rest of this stuff. Thank you. Okay. All right. I think that's it. So it does seem like these have been, these are like smaller little deposits than the ones that we found down in the caves, but um, that's still a lot of resources. Ouch. Okay. Oh. Okay. So if I want to build another large rover, I will need another four aluminum. So maybe let's get that first. And then the other thing I'm going to want is I'm going to want another battery, right? So, let's do both of those things. All right. Um, let's get battery. And I'm just going to go ahead. Let's move this generator over. Well, it could be here. It could be here. That's fine. Let's, uh, let's start using this organic up. Um, all right. Now it's charging that battery, which I don't necessarily want it to be doing. 
I would rather be using the energy. So let's also send off for some laterite. It's fine if it charges the battery. Um, titanium. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Give me that stuff. No! This planet is dangerous. My goodness. Oh look! Plants are starting to grow up on the thing I, I built. That's neat. That's cute. Okay. All right, and our generator has stopped generating, but that, it gets a fair amount of power when you use this small generator, so it's not a bad source. Those things get so close. Okay, I just want to build. Got a wall behind. Got to build a wall behind the truck to stay. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it looks like the wind is pushing the rover around, but the thing is, it's only whenever I'm in the rover. If you get out of the rover, it locks itself in place pretty well, and then if you get out of it suddenly, that's when it has the issues. Which is uh, a little weird to me. Okay, we got our laterite. That's great. Let's put this over here. We're going to need the storage space, I think. All right, there's our four to build our next rover. We have this battery. Let's build a third battery. Because, like I said, it does seem like we get a lot of energy during the day when the sun is shining down on here. So if we could store up a lot of that then it would be less of an issue for us. So if we had three batteries, then we'd be good. I'm just playing with danger here, aren't I? Okay, and then if I get more aluminum, I can actually make a, um, a wind turbine too. That would probably be a good idea. All right, and then lastly, we have a little bit of resin, right? Just one. I'm gonna need to send off for more of that for sure. Okay. Oh, that was close. That was way too close. All right, we're gonna build want to see what is straight this way sure so that'll be Ooh, air will oh, goodness <sighs> all right you know what get inside just get inside my goodness we came to a dangerous land all right but I think our, our little base here is looking pretty nice we're really getting stuff going we're gonna get this second um, rover here and that we can then turn into our kind of Oh, I need to hit the button. That we can turn into our power generator and storage part of our rover so that we can go a long distance. Um, and uh, from there, I mean, it really just comes down to searching the planet for stuff. And I think we can make a lot out of that. So let's do that. Print it. And yeah, we'll put a large storage on the back of that. We'll, on the front of it, we'll have two other slots. What do I want to put there? A battery, maybe? More storage? I could put double large storage on it. Might not be a bad idea, honestly. Um, so, we could try it. I've never tried it before. That's a lot of compound that we need. How much titanium and lithium do we have left? Okay. We built three batteries, right? Uh, ah, no, I think we only built two, uh, but that's fine. Let's build, or let's um, let's send off for some compound. So we're gonna try out. So one of y'all had told me about this before in the uh, chat, the idea of having a double, um, a double large storage on there. Embrace the danger. <laughs> Give the spiky balls a hug. No. Don't wanna. Now the disadvantage is it's not gonna allow us to be able to pick up like research notes, um, but I think that's fine. Do, do, do. Wait, oh, Jazz is not streaming later? Oh, cause she's feeling sick? Oh, okay. Um, well then, let's see. So maybe I'll take over. I'll have to, um, Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so maybe I will then take over some of Jazzy's time. I'll have to uh, figure that out. Anyway, we're still recording right now. I should uh, uh, We should deal with that afterwards. So um, I think let's just make this last part, and then I think we'll be good to go. The sun's about to come up, which is going to be great. We're going to finally be getting some more uh, generation here. Yeah, we did make three batteries. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Um, 
build that, please. I mostly just want to see what this thing looks like. It's going to be like this crazy looking caterpillar thing. Um, sorry, not feeling all jazz. Blame Ash. Okay, uh, and oh, and we've already used up all of our organic as well. So we're just waiting on this. Well, let's go ahead and at least bring the compound over. Do, do, do. But the sun is coming up, so we should be getting energy here soon. I am a little surprised that our little wind turbine is like never working. You would think that it should be able to pick up on all this wind that's coming by. But yeah, it just does not seem to. All right, sun should be hitting this guy soon. I can see the light hitting you. Why are you not opening? Um, so then maybe what we'll do, let's see. Yeah, yeah, okay, there we go, power generator. All right, let's get this going. And let's go ahead while we're waiting. Let's move you, sir, over to here so that we can, oh no. It's doing that thing where it's kind of being a little bit wild. Very touchy. Ah! Okay, let's print the second large storage. And we'll connect these guys together once that's done. I want to wait until it's done because I don't know about how this game glitches with that stuff. All right, now check that out. Oof. Look at this guy. And we're going to be able to put additional storages onto the sides of each of those. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we could bring research nodes. That's right, you can put research nodes on these ones. I forgot. For the large storages, you totally can. So, then if we take all of our uh, medium storages and put them on top of our large storages, we suddenly ouch, have a crazy amount of storage space. And I can build even more of these. Yeah, and we can really go on a nice adventure exploring this planet and go on just as far as we want. Honestly, you know what I should do? Okay, okay. Got it. Here is our plan for next episode. So this is what we did today. I'm going to just stand next to this thing. I'm going to take a quick little screenshot, y'all. I love to do my little screenshots for my thumbnails. Okay. So we're going to do, let's see. How about, do you want to do that? What's what's for? Yeah, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do that face. Okay. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go four, print screen. And now the screen's frozen, so don't worry about it. It's totally how it's supposed to be. Let's save directly. Okay. And then, uh, what we're going to do next episode, okay, is we will build another habitat and attach that to the back of the um, device, uh, or to that, to that truck, uh, and we're going to cover that thing, just cover that thing in large storage, and we're going to just go driving around the planet, generating power, we're going to have a battery on there, we're going to have a solar panel on there, we're going to have a wind turbine on there, we're going to have all kinds of stuff we need for generating power, and tons of storage, and we're going to have just a mobile base, and we're just going to be going around, looking for resources, and if we find a really cool spot to do more, another base, like a little, little small base, um, then maybe we'll do that, right? Or even just as like a little place to like, you know, like a refueling station almost, where we just put up a bunch of power power generators and then we can like connect to that with our um, rover I think that'd be really cool and then maybe we'll even do like a third giant rover on the back of it eventually just have this crazy huge train I think that'd be nice we can like push this game to its limits for like having like a crazy like caterpillar train anyway with all that thank you all so much for watching if you liked what you saw please be sure to give this video a like a favorite subscribe to the channel my name is Ben Price and I will see y'all next time